Welcome back, we're here looking at the indices and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, March 22nd, 2022. If you like support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos that really helps with our with our channel and let's get to it. And we'll start by looking at the, with, at the NASDAQ and as you can see, we uh, ended at 14,390, market just opened right now up uh, give or take uh, 0 0.10 percent but still it was not a really good day for nasdaq it uh, it um, fell roughly down towards a 14,200 give or take in the, in the in the asian session but this massive move to the upside that we saw last week that kind of has stalled at this point and it started to look more like these rallies here up towards the 200 moving average and up towards the middle of the bullish band which all of them have been sold into so there are a lot of things that are happening in the world which are going against this market and uh, in general uh, the outlook for the market uh, is not really pretty but still if the market breaks above the 200 moving average then it's very likely that we'll go ahead uh, back to the very highs so it's actually these um two tops here that we basically need to take out and it's right at the 200 moving average roughly at the 15,100 give or take this zone here at this moment it looks like we're stalling if we pull back from here and break the middle of the bullish band then it's very likely they'll fall back towards the very bottom the macd is bullish stochastic is turning around here still in bullish territory and the rsi is flat at this current stage so let's look at S&P 500 and as you can see very similar we're trading right between the 50 and the 200 moving average fell towards the 50 bounced rallied up towards the 200 and basically pulled back and at the moment we are trading at 4463. 4, if you look at the MACD it is uh, bullish stochastic is uh, becoming negative we're going to have a crossing here but it's still in bullet ter bullish territory it's not until we enter this zone here and down here in negative territory that it really falls apart like this and so on if you look at the rsi it's also been turning around so momentum is stalling breaking below the 50 moving average drops this towards the middle of the bullish band and then to the very bottom and breaking the very the bottom here then this market will go significantly lower so let's look at the dow jones and if you get to see the dow jones it didn't have a really good day of course boeing had a terrible day which is a huge part of the, this indice and if that um, company has stock falls and then just technically this indice also doesn't really do very well it did rally in the last the four days of last week but today it looked weak and if you look at the stochastic it has crossed the signal line turning around so is rsi and usually the macd also follows that breaking below to the 50 moving average drops towards the middle of the bullish band uh 33,600 and then to the very bottom of the 42,400 give or take so if you look at the, the european market or the dax we can see that we had this massive drop here mainly due to the war in the middle east not the middle east but in eastern europe i was supposed to say it rallied up towards the uh, 50 Fibonacci retracement and then it basically ran into major resistance here. At this current stage, it looks like we're going to test the middle of the bullish band. Breaking that, that will drop this way below here. MACD is still bullish. Stochastic is bearish at this current stage. In It's turning around, uh, crossing the signal line, but it's in bullish territory. And the, the RSI is becoming bearish. So if Europe um decides to uh, to um basically not allow uh, russian ships uh, to enter uh, european ports and uh, basically put an embargo on um, russian oil that will definitely have a negative uh, uh, effect on the european economy um as it is dependent on uh, russian oil and also on russian gas so at the current stage they're talking about oil so i'm not really sure they're talking about gas but it, it also oil it will definitely need to come from somewhere else if they uh, are to uh, continue producing um, or running their economies so it will definitely have a major impact on in the german economy and, and european economy as a whole so at this current stage i don't think that we're going significantly higher this looks like it's going to turn around and head basically south Europe's economy is not doing very well um, 
So, so yes. Hope you found this helpful. You're able to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.